Aren't these the images that come to our mind every time we think of Afghanistan, Libya, Syria? Of conflict, destruction, helplessness? Is it all to it? Well, let me share a different story with you. My story. In the fall of 2017, I received a request from Ministry of Health in Libya to support them in the process of digitization of the national information systems using DHIS2. Libya? Really? Do they really want to do digitization while they have bombs exploding all over the country? Don't they want to focus on some immediate rescue work? They have very high casualties though. I very politely returned the email asking them to come over and we train them here. How do I bring 180 people? We don't have any such resources, please. Why don't you come with your team? He said over a forever interrupting Skype call. He's not serious and said my team. I mean, he can't be expecting us to visit Libya and get bombed. While we still sat brooding over this, my inbox had a new email saying, we need your help, please come. We'll ensure your safety with our lives. And on the news, BBC announced another bombing, killing a dozen people, including children. As we started this travel process, Embassy informed of a travel ban for Indian nationals traveling to Libya. Why we excitedly announced this to the director, we heard, well, that's fine, don't worry. You come to Tunis and we'll bring you in in our cars. He wants to bring us in in his car from Tunis to Tripoli. I'm sure we don't want to get into this said two of the five member team and rest of us said let's try. It was dusk by the time we reached Tunis. A big warm hug awaited us behind the placards. It was deep dark by the time we hit the road. A big car full of people, vaccine supplies, destined for Tripoli and, and Benghazi. We missed a beat at the border check post. But as Dr. Akhtar had said, just trust, we will ensure your safety with our lives. Entering the training center next day was a completely new world. 80 people awaited us, all very, very keen to get started. And they had all braved their ways to this training. The training went well, and Libya is the first country to implement WHO modules on DHIS for immunization, tuberculosis, and cause of death, along with all the other data sets. While they learned their lessons on DHIS too, I learned lessons of life on resilience. Changing my country's situation is beyond me, but I can change the situation I'm responsible for a better health system for my countrymen. And this is what I will do, make my country system the best. So when peace returns to my country, my country systems are ready for, to work with the required pace, said Dr. Akhtar with a promise in his eyes and the heart.